What's going on guys? Just want to do a quick review today of uh, Rankos Print On Demand or Rankos Print Shop, um, a Canadian print on demand company out here in uh, Victoria, BC. There's not too many reviews of them online, both on YouTube or just articles online that tell you too much about them. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in print on demand companies in the US, Australia, um, China, Canada, all over the place. Um, so I like to think that I have a pretty good understanding um, and credibility in terms of reviewing a print on demand business. Um, so I'm just gonna give a quick one here about Rankos to hopefully, you know, maybe help you with your decision if that's somebody that you're leaning towards, especially because here in Canada, we don't have um, too many options. So some of the things that I'm looking for, actually, sorry, first and foremost, I just want everybody to know this isn't a paid review. Any reviews that I do will not be paid. If it's a paid review, it's only because it's getting paid to show attention to what that app is but it's going to be, um, so that's completely honest and I'd make a note of that at the beginning of the video anyways. But like I said, not a paid review and they have no idea that, uh, that I'm making this. Um, for people that don't wanna watch the full video, uh, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, I give it a 4.5 out of five. Um, it's an overall just a uh, great company to work with. So if you're on the final step of should I go with them, yes or no, my recommendation to you is yes. Um, but some of the things that I look for in a print on demand company is their quality. So the quality of the products that they have, as well as the quality of prints. Obviously the quality of prints makes more sense than the quality of products. Um, you know, we don't need the absolute best t-shirt possible because obviously greater costs are going to come with that. Um, so the quality of prints more so is what matters most to me. Second to that, if not equal is pricing. And I'm not trying to price gouge, but we obviously want the best price possible because you know, you can't charge $40 for a Gillen t-shirt. So pricing is another big one that we're gonna look at, especially with the Canadian company. Obviously when we're here in Canada dealing with the US companies, uh, we have the exchange rate to factor in and that makes things incredibly more expensive. The ease of use is the next thing. It's not terribly too important to me. And by ease of use, I mean um, how easy it is for you to upload a graphic to your, your website or their app or whatever they're using, basically to go from your idea conceptualized online to where you want to sell, how easy that is. For me specifically, because I'm pretty tech savvy, I don't really care what it's like so long as the other requirements are met. If they're not met, then this is obviously a super important one. And for people that aren't tech savvy, which is a really good majority of people, um, especially that are doing print on demand, then they obviously they want something that's easy to use. So I'll go into depth on that as well. Um, and then company rep reputation. And what I mean by that is just what the people are like, uh, what the reviews are like. If there's not reviews, like sometimes if for a Shopify um, app, for example, you can see uh, what the rating is out of five stars, how many reviews they have. Um, sometimes the Better uh, Business Bureau has reviews of them as well. It depends how developed of a company they are, how long they've, um, they've been around. But company reputation to me is just what those people are like. And sometimes you can't find reviews on them and you won't figure it out until you work with them yourself to, uh, to kind of see what they like. And I highly recommend that because what my opinion is or experience might not be the same as what yours is or somebody else that we're listening to or reading to. So I highly recommend dealing with them yourself before um, kind of coming up with that answer. So those are the four things that I look at mainly. Um, again, I would give them a 4.5 out of five and I'm gonna go into depth as to why. Some of the pros that I would say with Rancos is they have really quick uh, turnaround times. So from the time that I place my order with them to the time that they print the order and then ship it out is really quick. I mean, the team is usually, if you can get your orders in before noon, sometimes that day they get them out. If not, it's the next day. Obviously, you have your holidays and weekends and stuff. But if there's some kind of delay because they don't have that product, um, they'll let you know. So I'd say that the quick turnaround times are huge because you don't want customers waiting five days just to get a product. And because you're not in full control of this operation, you can't expedite the shipping yourself. Um, so you wanna factor in that four to eight day shipping time, plus factor in the, the processing time of one, two, three days. I always allow myself and tell my customers three days, um, but Rankos is great at getting them out on that next business day, sometimes two. Um, the next thing with them that kind of leads off the back there is they're very communicative. So if there's a product that's out of stock or a color that I want or just a question that I have, the team is either proactive or very responsive. So proactive, they'll reach out to me and tell me, hey, we don't have this, what do you wanna do? Future reference, you okay going with this? Yes, no, whatever. Um, and they're very responsive. So if I have a question, 
directly send an email, usually that same day, I'll hear back from them right away, which is um, incredible. Um, they have a Facebook group of over 300 people in it now. When I first started with them, they didn't have that Facebook group, but you know, it's, it's actually a really helpful group because people post a lot of questions, anything from like super generic to technical issues to um, future uh, products or suggestions, and people kind of bounce ideas. So it gives Rankos uh, a great feedback loop, but it also allows everybody else to help out. So I know that they're super busy printing things. I obviously have experience, so I do my best to help on a lot of questions that come up in there, but it's just a great platform to have because you have those 300 people that you can communicate with and it's free, so it's great. Um, the reason we priced, one of the hardest things, like I said earlier, is that um, being in Canada, when we're using print on demand apps, usually we're paying in US prices. So you have to factor in almost 1.5 times. I mean, it's about 1.3, 1.35, depending on the time of year, um, what that price is, plus the shipping. Sure, the shipping is easily cheaper sometimes, um, but nonetheless, you have to factor in that currency difference. So I would say for Rankos in terms of, I mean, at the end of the day, they have to make a profit as well, right? This is a business, not a charity. Um, I would say they're very reasonably priced. Going any higher makes it almost impossible to sell products if you're not doing high-end products. And to me, just in terms of ethics, I can't fathom somebody paying $35, $40 for a Gildan t-shirt when I know that's just not the worth. Um, so I think in, in terms of that, they're very reasonably priced. And their shirts range from, I believe, $14 Canadian up to about 20-ish um, dollars, depending on which one you want. Also right now, because of COVID, it, uh, the products that are available are kind of affected. Usually they have a much larger variety, but right now it's kind of condensed into like the main things. Plus, as they go throughout business in their years, they're also figuring out what's most likely that people are going to buy and to use, and we'll stock up on those makes things quicker for everybody, plus probably better margins for them and for us, which is great. So lastly, I would say that they just have great staff and genuine people. Andy, who's the owner of it, I believe, I'm actually pretty pretty confident in that. Um, just does a phenomenal job. It's just, it, it's kind of run like a, a mom and pop shop in a way that like they actually care about uh, you and your success. Um, when you have questions, they answer them. They're honest with you, they're friendly. Um, it's almost like working with a friend in a way, I guess. Um, so very, very professional, but just good people. If they have a mistake, they'll correct it. If there's something they see that's missing, they'll let you know. Um, they might throw out a joke at you sometimes. Just a really, really solid business. And to me, I think all businesses, not just in print on demand, but all businesses should aspire to be that same way. Um, yeah, they just do a phenomenal, phenomenal job in that department. And for me, that's, something that's super important because I want to have trust at the end of the day that if they're printing something um, and they see a bit of an issue when the print comes out, they'd be the kind of people to stop and reprint again or say, hey, there's an issue with this graphic. We keep trying to print it and this keeps happening. Um, maybe could you change it? I would rather them tell me that and have trust that that's going to happen than somebody that would just print it, say, screw it, fold it up, send it off to the customer and deal with that issue. Um, so I've done now with them specifically over 700 orders and I haven't a single complaint from a single customer um, in terms of quality, um, sizing, anything. Um, so, I mean, that should say, that should say something. Um, there, there's a variety more pros, but those are the main ones for me and I think answers a lot of questions for other people. In terms of the cons, I would say there's two major ones and they kind of tie into each other. And one is that their uh, their backend, they don't have an app like a Shopify app or you might be using WooCommerce or Etsy or whatever. They don't have an app for that yet. I know Andy's in the works of building one and please keep in mind that these things take both time and a lot of money. Like I, I think I think I had one quoted once and it's around like $20,000 for an adequate one, like something that's really gonna work. And why would you pay half of that and get half the product, right? So. It's a work in progress and it will come. It's just a con right now because for people that aren't tech savvy, it's not the easiest thing to use because you have to go to a different website technically to order um, one of your garments for your customers. Um, and that will bring me into the second part here, which is it's called Deco, Deco Network. Um, that's what they use. So they give you a separate website that you would go to. It's almost kind of like corporations. Um, they'll have like, for example, I don't know, we'll say Bell. Uh, they might have like their own website they would go to for um, bell gear shirts and stuff that they would use internally. It's kind of the same thing. Um, so yeah, they use uh, Deco Network. 
Now you can set it up, at least for Shopify, through automation. And if you guys want a video, then I'll set up a video differently going through how to do that. And he does have a video in the group that goes over it. It's pretty simplistic. Um, it's like six steps, takes like five minutes maybe, but for people that are um, tech savvy, it might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm happy to make that video. Um, but the thing with Deco Network, aside from it not being the most user-friendly app is when you go to create a product and you add an image to it, um, there's like a little grid or box that's around where your dimensions are. And then it'll also say what the size of that graphic is. So for example, maybe 10 inches by 10 inches, but you only want it to be five inches by five inches. Um, but then when you shrink it to what five inches by five inches is on the screen, it actually is really small and doesn't look like that. So the rule of thumb is that we just go by how it looks on there. So when you submit an order to Andy, because you do a mock-up every single time you create a product, right? When you submit an order on the back end, he's gonna look at what that mock-up is. So what you want it to look like is exactly how it should be. Don't worry about the dimensions. Um, don't worry about the location in the grid, whatever, it might be off center, but really it's centered in the garment. They're smart people, they can see, okay, this is how they want the print and they'll do it like that. It's just a con because that creates a lot of um, misunderstandings for people. Like a lot of people that don't see this video or aren't in the group, they don't already know um, what to do about that. So like, should I follow the dimension? Should I follow the grid box? Should I just go with how I want it to look? So the rule of thumb is just to go with how it looks, which is, is what makes sense. Um, but I would say that those are the, the two major cons. Um, aside from that, like I said, great quality prints, good variety of products I've used almost every product possible from Gildan, Next Level, Bella, um, Authentic, so ATC. Um, oh my goodness, I've, I've used so, so many of them. Um, and they got quite a few of them on there, but they, they do print really well. And they just got some new printers as well. And somebody uploaded uh, a very color graphic on a black t-shirt there. Looks phenomenal. One of the best prints I've seen in the three, four years that I've been doing this. And um, they're working, they had an embroidery machine, it broke, they're working on getting that back. If you watch this video, they might already have it back. That's something super nice too. And they're always looking at ways to innovate too. And you know, like, can we get stickers? Can we add pack-ins, which I believe you can do separately with Andy. Um, just, it's a, a good company that you wanna grow with and wanna grow your business with. And because in Canada, we don't have that many options. Um, they're absolutely hands down one of the best. I've used, I've tried using T-shirt Elephant. I've tried uh, Canada Custom Apparel. Um, what are the other ones? I think Notion. There's a few other ones here in Canada. We don't have that many, like pff, probably less than five or a lot of them poses being Canadian, but really it's just a Canadian site for a US company. So, you know, if you want to sell yourself as a Canadian business or I'm a brand selling Canadian apparel, it's kind of hard to use a US company and, you know, your customer receiving it sees that it's being tracked by U USPS coming from Texas, for example. So um, that's super nice. Again, 4.5 out of five. Awesome stuff. Andy, if you ever see this, love, uh, love what you're doing. Great team and appreciate you guys. Any questions, drop them below. Do my best to answer and take care.